Um, but now I think there are a lot of, the list has grown bigger for us. Yes? The list is big and says, yeah, you can't touch it. You, you, you don't take it. You don't eat. You don't drink. We pass by every day. Adam passed by every day and saw, but he obeyed God. And he was going through his spiritual test whenever he would look at the tree. Whenever he would look at the fruit. Beautiful. But he would pass the test by not touching it. He would pass the test by not eating it. And you pass and go and pass and go and walk around. Then comes his partner, his dear, beautiful, darling wife, Eve. She was young, she was beautiful, she was supposed to be his partner, helper, friend, where you can have fellowship and all, and every other stuff. She also now become Eve today. Just go into wear her shoes today. And think about Eve too. Now husband and wife. First it was Adam alone. Now he's got his wife. He's got his partner, his friend. Walking together. Sees the fruit. Sees the tree. And they say, no, no, no. God said no. So we walk. Pass the test today. Then comes Tuesday. Then comes Wednesday. Pass the test. We have not touched. We walked so many times. But God, we have not touched. They passed the test. They kept passing the test until something happened. We all know snakes. I did uh, kill a few of them in India when I was there. Uh, we grew up with snakes. It's all kinds of snakes, all color snakes, and especially during the rainy season, they come out from everywhere. And um, one of the night, uh, I went with one of the friends uh, to catch some frogs in the late night, and it's raining. They're big frogs, and you have to go in the field. And uh, in the field, we had this torch on our head, and you could see snakes everywhere. Round, sitting on the road and all outside, and some moving. And then you're walking through, you know, looking at them and looking down and whatnot. Snakes, snakes everywhere. Um, one day, my both children were playing um, outside my house, uh, they were small, and while they were playing, one snake came in, and it was a beautiful snake. It had a design like a line of black, and it was white in between, and, but it was long. And it came so fast, passing through them, both of them, and went inside the house. And then he went behind the, the, the refrigerator, the fridge, and you know the refrigerator behind has got a, a jali. What do you call jali? Net. Huh? The net. net. So he went into the net like this, you know, like I'm just stitching something. Ah. So he couldn't come up. And he put himself in a difficult position and a place. I removed the refrigerator and I said, how could you come in the name of Jesus? How dare you pass through my church? I started praying, okay, on that snake. I said, I find all kinds of spirits and everything, and I, I said, why did you come in Jesus' name to threaten my children and all that? And I prayed and prayed and prayed. I took the stick and I hit on it, on the breeze, and, and big uh, fire came out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the snake got hit, it came out, and then he was killed um, later on. But I said, to the fridge, I said, you can't get spoiled. And the devil was trying to do something, so you better work. <laughs> okay? And I opened the door, it wasn't working. I said, no, 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 in Jesus' name, you cannot do this, you have to work. And then I turned off the button, and turned on again, and it started. <laughs> it worked. Amen, praise the Lord. So it's a little snake story. But the same house that we were living in, it was a house of snakes. Everywhere snakes and scorpions. And I've told this many times in the preaching. Prayers so powerfully work without killing, without putting any poisons or whatever it is. Fire or anything. Snakes just stopped coming in. There was no snake left in that property where we were staying. There was a snake here too. Good looking. Very shrewd, very sharp and, 
and you know, very tempting, and <coughs> and some or the other, he comes up with his uh, style in such a way, and uh, stands before the wife, the partner, the friend of Adam, the one who should be helping to keep the husband away from this or that tree and encouraging him, don't touch it. Let's pass the test. Something happened, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 and 6. Let's read together. The serpent is snake, by the way. So serpent was the shrewdest, the shrewdest one. It's not only the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden that we are not allowed to eat. God said, you must not eat it or even touch it. If you do, you will die. You won't die, the serpent replied to the women. God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. The woman was convinced. She saw the tree was beautiful and the fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it too. Snake. Cobras, python, and so many other names. My father was a um, man, he never got scared of any of those kind of stuff. Or any wild animal, he would, if the snake is coming anyway during the rainy season or the summer, he would hold it, hold his tail and pick, and then he would hit on, 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 on and he would just not scared at all and my mother used to get really upset by you know, saying at least use a nice thing or keep something ready. Um, when he won't allow, one day we were, I was very small and my mom was sleeping um, with us and we were, I was a mom boy, she's watching there, I believe, and um, I was in her, what do you call this? Arm. Arm. And my other brother and sister was on the other side and her hand was on, on us like this, you know, a real good mother, sleeping like, a, you know, the, the chickens under the wings, you know. So she took us and we were sleeping. And her hand felt something very cool, 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 sort of very cold kind of thing passing through. And uh, it was for a long time. And she realized something is not right. And it passed through and then she felt maybe it's a snake. So she got up and quickly she got us out. It was like, say, two o'clock in the morning or something. Everybody was sleeping, the neighbors and all. She took us out. It was a huge cobra, big cobra, was in the house. And the good mother saved the, the children that were very, very small, all of us. But I still remember the story, how the neighbor, my dad, came and pulled it out and then finished it off. Shrewd, the Bible has used this very snakes that I grew up with and many of you have grown up. I'm sure Zuzan must have seen a lot of hand pulling and playing with as a child and the other too. But the shrewd snake comes to this beautiful wife and to the partner, to the friend. And the shrewd snake says this, he said, Did God really say this? <laughs> that you shouldn't eat? You shouldn't touch. Is that really true? Have you really heard God? Is God speaks? The same snake spoke to me a few times early days of ministry. I'm 50 now, but I started my the work in ministry when I was 18. And the shrewd snake would come and say, Did God really stole you to be in ministry? You can earn money outside, you can do something else. Did really God call you? Is there really gift that is working through you in healing and deliverance? Is the scriptures, the promises that God gave you, and you put date on it, the pages says date, you say that God has spoken to you November 11, um, uh, 19, um, uh, 92. Is that really true? 
or you missed it. You got something wrong. When God speaks, when God gives prophecy, when God gives you scripture, when God tells you to go to a particular city or nation or country or area or tribes or a group of people, did God really spoke to you to carry the cross? On Facebook, somebody was putting, this is wrong what you're doing. There's a will, a lot of people mock. Jesus crossed, you didn't have will. You have will. The shrewd snake comes to different people and speaks. Evangelism. You can't really spoke to you. Your friend is going to watch and they take video and they will be on Facebook. And then somebody will watch in India and some other uncle and somebody will say something. Did God really told you to go out with leaflets and be full time in ministry? Sometimes the Eve or even Adam, the husband, or the Eve, the wife says, we have to pay the bill. Did God really spoke to you to be full time in ministry? In ministry, there's no money. We will struggle. One of the pastors, one of the preachers, I, I saw a small clip that came on Facebook and I loved it. He got married and he said to his wife, he holds his wife and said to her, he said, you know, maybe I would never be able to buy a house for you or give you free time food. Maybe you'll have to be hungry with me. Will you? She said, yes, I will. I don't need a house. I want to stand with you, support you what God has called you. The test was passed. Snake lost it. The shrewd cobra lost it. The one that came to the Eve in that marriage. And successfully they built the ministry. And growth and all the other things came. Snake knows. The shrewd snake knows exactly what God has spoken to you 10 years ago. Today you must have forgotten. Today it must have gone out of your head and mind. But the shrewd snakes knows that God had spoken to Adam, the husband, and Eve wasn't there. He says to Eve, is God really told you? But it's beautiful. It's very nice. The tree is very beautiful. Look at, look, look, look. Just, just see it. It's nice. Why would God say not to Eve? There's some problem there. Maybe God doesn't love you. He said he is a Jehovah Jireh, but he's not... You don't see any provision. Maybe he doesn't love you. You must eat this. Then maybe there would be a miracle. Maybe you would know and understand something that you never understood. Amen. The fruit snake comes in various of ways and various of time. And you say, no, no, I don't want to watch pornography. It's okay. The girls are beautiful. The man are handsome there. Watch it. And you can ask forgiveness later on. It's okay. You can pray that God is a merciful God, snake says. Don't you know the scripture? Even before you pray or before you repent, he forgives. Do you know that he is a faithful God? He died on the cross. The Bible says, John 3, 16, Shrewd Snake knows the scripture. We don't know everything, but he knows page by page. Maybe he can tell some of us the page number two. You know, page number 354, John 3.16 says, God so loved the world, he gave his begotten son. So he gave you begotten son. Come on, watch, watch, watch. He'll forgive you. He's a merciful God. Shrewd's name. Talks to everybody. After listening to this, is there anybody the snake has not talked with you? Spoken to you? I'm sure if you're humble, each one would say, yes, he did. Yeah? Yes. He did. And he did so many times. He did it to me so many times. Twice, and some of my old church members knows this, twice I saw the devil in my house, in my flat. In a different way. But one day I saw the same devil, and I was in ordination church, the church was not planted. We were sleeping in the window in our bedroom. And from the window, 
the devil comes in with a big stone and he wants to hit on my wife's head and I saw him in the night lifting the stone up and hitting on her I turned back and I said in the name of Jesus she's my wife in Jesus name how dare you can do this you can't touch her you can't do it. and as I started praying he ran off and I said this in Holy Nation Church and I saw him running off like a cat and I used some word at that time but uh, in Holy Nation Church <laughs> But we grew up with cats in Goa, and we know when cats are scared, what the cat does. Yeah, and the tail goes inside. And that's how I saw him running. The shrewd devil comes to each and everybody's house in different ways. If you are in the Lord, then surely you will know like I understood three times, and even more. But these were the three times, recent time. Twice he came earlier and said, stop deliverance. And Gina was there during those days in the church. And then a few others used to come from Ilford. And uh, this sister used to come from Ilford. It was such a strong, demonic, evil spirit that she had that her 12 children died. No. Yeah. She's the one, yeah. And then there was another one, didn't have children. And she used to have bleeding and her body used to go white completely, yellow and white. The bleeding would stop of this sister who would come from Ilford. And these were the, and a few others used to manifest and a lot of demons would leave. And during that time, the devil came into Forest Hill, South London and said, Stop deliverance, otherwise I'll break your church and break your family. Twice. And then I shared it with the church and I said, No, we're going to continue to... Uh, 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 deliver and let me say this to you until last week somebody said to me stop delivering I get snakes speaking every time through YouTube somebody sends me link through YouTube somebody sends me some messages and says don't do this deliverance do it this way do it that way da, 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 da. and then the shrewd snakes keeps talking and I went on because I heard God saying continue amen Praise the Lord. Praise continue, Lord. continue. And we are going to continue um, no matter what happens. Jagruti, she's not here today. But I've given Jagruti's example so many times. Jagruti, two children died in the womb and could not get pregnant after that because the black magic was such that she won't get pregnant and the children would die. She passed her age, husband and she. And they said, now you can't have babies, medical. And she, she was delivered in the church. But while she was delivered and that prayer was happening, and suddenly the, the evil leaves and she gets pregnant. And now she's pregnant at this age. The whole Wemli, the Damandiv, or the Gujaratis were shaken up by this wonderful miracle. I started getting call after call and saying, Jagruti is pregnant, can you pray for me? I want to come and, and, and I want to get delivered because we heard this has happened with Jagruti. And uh, as this big miracle was, was, was happening and people were enjoying the Shrutsnek comes, Jagruti comes to the church with the baby in her womb growing month by month. And then she comes down to Patidar where we used to have our home. And the Shrutsnek says, don't go to church, go back. So many times Jagruti went back home. She didn't know the shrewd, very snake who take her back. She said, don't go to church. Go there. She told me then later on, Pastor, I got ready. I dressed up. And I would come. I would get ready. I knew on Friday only I'm going to go to the church. I was all set to go. I would come. I didn't know what was happening. I would be back home. I struggle every day. Saturday, every week to come to church. Shrewd name knew that this was the church that Jagruti got a miracle. That God touched her. And the shrewd snake turns it around and says, Now, the other way. This way you, you are not listening. This way you got the miracle. You came out of it. Now I'm going to come the other way and take you out of the church. And not let you go to church. But the snake lost it. 
This snake over here talks to Eve. She was alone, by the way, over there. Maybe she was with her husband. She was safe. Two people together. The day she was alone, and he comes, and he works his, his ways in, questioning, doubt, putting all kinds of stuff. And then he finally gives up. And we do give up too, like he, right? In different ways. We know that we shouldn't lie, but we do lie. We know that we should be bold out there to say, I'm a Christian, but we sometimes lie. And we go with the world. Am I right? God has called us, but we lie. And say, no, 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 let me go and do something else. And I'll see later on. We lie. We know that we are lying. The snake comes and says, it's okay. He will forgive you. Lie now. Don't worry. He loves you. Amen? Snake. Shrewd snake. There was a test. There was a spiritual test that I... Eve had to stand with this name and she lost it. She lost her test. Many of us have lost many times that test. Am I right? Yeah? I'm going to show you a video of the test later on. But you know what happens later on? Welcome. Later on, she takes it, she eats it, and she gives to the husband. Husband also is convinced. And then they do it together, eat it together. And both of them, who stood for such a test for such a long time, now has fell and has, you know, lost it. Don't you think that Adam and Eve, or Adam earlier, before the Eve was created, was a good Christian? When she came in, they were good Christians, obeying the Lord, going to church, doing everything, worshipping the Lord, fellowship, every other stuff today, if Adam and Eve were there. They were the church-going people. Maybe they would have been the preachers, the best preachers, the best evangelists in the ministry. Speaking in tongue, gifts, casting out demons, healing the, the sick, raising up the dead. And every other way, maybe the biggest church Adam would have had in London, more bigger than any other. It doesn't matter who you are today. It doesn't matter who you will be tomorrow. When I was in YWAM, I had a, we had a lot of worship leaders. And, and uh, one of the favorite worship leaders was Ben. I'm sure Trinda would remember him. Ben from Nagaland. Anointing. Such an anointing with guitar, as soon as he would start playing, anointing would flow in his singing and every other way. He did powerful worship for a long, long time. But he fell the test and got into drugs. Such a condition he went in that he used to sleep in cemeteries with people of buried. And I brought him from cemetery a few times. And was helping him to take him to rehab and all that. The shrewd snakes. I understood those days in, in Wyvern that the shrewd snake is attack. A lot of attacks are on the worship leaders, the pastors, the missionaries, or the good people, the righteous one, the praying one, the fasting one, the one who wants to trust God, the one who wants to you know do everything right in, 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 in the church or any other way. The shrewd snake comes and says, It's okay, it's beautiful. You can hear it. Test it. Test it. It tastes nice. It looks good. It tastes nice. It's sweet. It's it's not sour. It's it's not, you know, your teeth is not going to, what do you call that teeth? Uh, soury edge. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Isn't this happen to us? My daughter is going to wild them. And I'm sure the snake is already sitting over there. <laughs> I want to say this to you today. Wisdom, understanding. What, what the Bible says, lack of what? Wisdom or what? What was that? My people? Perish. Yeah, my people? Perish. Perish. 
I want to give you wisdom from today. When you go in that your door, look around. You may not see there is a cobra that we saw in India, but there is snake. There is shrewd cobra or python is there. When you go in, touch your tablet or, or laptop, know that, that there is a shrewd snake on those buttons. You go on Google, you go on Facebook. Sometimes these days the Facebook is you click on one thing, the next couple of days you get all kinds of ads coming up on you. All snakes knows how to, how to, how to, how to get the all that ad that would make you fall like how the, the beautiful looking stuff. Snakes are everywhere. For even for our children, the small kids and small children. For us as a husband and wife too. In our bedroom the snake is. Let's accept it. Let's be wise. Let's, let's fight this snake. And unless we know this and accept this, how can we fight? Yeah? I saw the snake in Goa who passed through my children. I took the stick and I fought in prayer and with the stick. But if you are going to be, um, you know, lazy and, and, and not give attention and not focus or not, not understand what's going on, then many snakes will keep coming and keep coming and you will do a zoo of a snake in your house. <laughs> All different zoo colors of snake you will have in your house attacking you from this way, that way, this back and forth and all that kind of stuff. And then you run to the church and run to the pastors or look for somebody who can pray for you. And then snake after snakes are coming, snake after snakes are coming. Why? Because you collected the zoo in your house. You started the zoo. A free, without a ticket. You can't even earn money through this zoo. And there is so many that you collected and now it's difficult to get it out. Am I right? Yes. yes. If we are alert, if we, if we stay wise and, and have that knowledge that one snake, get out in Jesus' name, you can't come in. And make a life such a way that all these snakes would know when they pass by and walk by, you know, neighbors and Preston Hill, Wenley, uh, Sudbury, you know, and uh, Kingsbury, you know, stay snakes going different style different way hey. <laughs> you know all that time. yo now there's the snakes are more yo fingers yo What's what up, else guys? yo man and all those kind of stuff with action cigarettes in the hand yo man <laughs> 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 His <laughs> friend does that. Uh, <laughs> now, this your snacks, shrewd one. Yeah. So they can make me fall into it. I won't give any chance to fail my test. Failing test is not easy. To come back. I've experienced it's difficult. If I've made it, it's only by grace of God. It's only by God's grace that I've made it where I am today. Some of you have not gone through what I went through, what I really went through. This message can give you the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. That you don't have to take the fruits and then work hard to come back after failing the you can learn from this message, learn from those who have fallen, learn from David, who just looked at outside a window, and from the window, he saw another Eve, and the snake was saying, the water is falling, and you know, he, he, was, he, he, he could look very nicely, then he was doing this way and that way, because the snake was moving that way and this way, and then the snake says, yeah, send your servant and get him. Yo, you're a king, man. Who can stop you? You're a king, David. The war is on. The husband is not at home. He's gone. You have sent him. So you and her, the snake say. And then you can ask forgiveness later on. You have done good for the Lord. You won the battle. You fought. You wrote songs. You're the worship leader. You brought the best instrument 
in the world. What one? She's a beautiful get it. Snake, the shrewd one. And even this strong warrior, the Bible says, he could not stand the test. The mighty warrior soldier, uh, 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 David, he fell. We can learn from David's life. You don't have to look outside the window. And there will be a lot of, lot of, lot of windows where somebody taking bath. We can walk fast. We can turn our face. We can close our eyes. We had a shack in Goa in Baga, in uh, Baga Beach. For some of you who have never been to Goa, Baga is one of the top beach in Goa where a rich crowd comes. And a very good customers and tourists come from all over the world. Right next to my shack where we were, when women used to come, I think she was a British, and she would be topless and she would do her exercise there. Now look at this ways of doing exercise. Topless. And this would happen till she was there, I think two, three weeks. Choice of this kind. And then you have a customers. Now you, this is your business. It's your business, Shaq. You have put the sun bath. We have we were allowed to put ten of them. Sunbed. Sunbed. And on sunbed, now nobody comes on suit to sleep there, right? You are right in front of the sea. Nobody comes with tie and suit and then let's go for swimming, darling. And, and, and the darling also is full, you know, with all beautiful stylish dress. No, the dresses are different, right? Choice is in your hand. And I made a choice, by the way, my wife is a witness. I stayed clean. I saw a lot of things that, that, that David saw from the window. Amen. I stood my test. I passed my test. Amen. And I'm very happy to say this. That this was only one woman. I had no other women. Amen. I passed my test. Amen. I could stand before the Lord boldly. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. What about you? What about others? What about the ones that are growing and going to be young? Luke is almost getting ready. The mustache is coming out and a lot of girls are going to look at him. But I'm sure, look, it's going to pass the test. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Yes. Now, these are the testing time, and test is what we're going to have. And every time something happens, somebody would say, go on, Google, go on to your life, open your Bible, go to church, and test yourself up. And as we do that, so Trisha is going to get ready. So there is a meter, the video of the meter. What happens? The picture that you saw is, is, is this is the meter that, that happens when you click. As soon as you go to church, as soon as you open your Bible, as soon as you pray, as soon as you fast, as soon as you want to go for evangelism, you know, the, the, the thing starts. Look at this. As soon as you click on it. Yes, it's going up and up. The more prayer, it goes up. Go oh, Bible, it goes up. Friends from the church, Christians, it goes up. Amen? Praise the Lord, husband and wife praying, it goes up. Amen? Husband and wife serving the Lord, it goes up. It goes up. It goes up. It goes up. And the test is passed. Amen? You're doing good. I wanted to check today your life. Jesus. spoke to Peter, James, and John, and there's a poster of uh, this scripture, and we're going to read it together. And Jesus now wanted to pray. It was late night. It was prayer time. And Jesus wanted a few people to intercede. So he takes three of them. He thinks that these are the good ones. So let me take. They pray good. They pray nicely. So come with me. So he takes them. He prays and he comes back to these three thinking that they are also praying. But he sees them sleeping. Let's read together. Then he returned to disciples and found them asleep. He said to Peter, couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to. Temptation for the spirit is willing, 
the body, the body is weak. weak. That's Matthew chapter 26, verse 40 and 41. If you are, have a car, or even if you walk today out, on the roadside, left and right, watch out for signs. You have signs. And if you give a, 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 a theory test, which Trisha just passed and Antonia is preparing, this sign, okay, what is this triangle? Uh, what yeah. Anybody can tell me what is this in theory test? It's a warning. It's a warning sign. And let's go for more signs. Signs have been kept for drivers out there. Amen. Open your Bible. Signs have been given to you for every other stuff. Signs are over here. The railway track or the railway gate. So there is a sign. It's warning you. Way back. Half kilometer. One kilometer. What is going to happen Friday? Today. God is warning you with a sign to say Friday the shrewd snake is going to come or Thursday or in the night today. Be careful. You have a test. The snake is going to be there. There is hum. So you go past. Your car will jump. So slow down. Warning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Deer. Bicycle. Yeah, there's work going on. So slow down. Slow down. It's evening now. Slow down. You are at home. Slow down. Pick your Bible. Kneel down. Pray. Slow down now. Put up your TV. Slow down. Go and pray. Go and open your Bible. Warning sign. Ask every day. All the time. Slippery. If you go to that path, you might slip over there. Boom. Fallen. Down. Don't go there. Sign. For every driver. For what? Why these signs are there? Got by government. Why? To protect you. To save you. From where? Accidents. Death. Accidents. Breaking up your legs or hand or this or that. Many times, you know, we come to church like this. <laughs> Last night there was an accident. I didn't see the warning sign. <laughs> yeah? What else? <laughs> I'm worshipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but when we look at each other, wow, what a genius. Wow. What a suit Pastor is wearing. The Pastor is like this. <laughs> <laughs> pastor has failed the test last night. Do <laughs> you see Pastor? Wow, preaching, my goodness. Lifting hands and praying and cast out demons too. Pastor! Wow! He cast out <laughs> demons! My goodness! The, the spirit could not look at him. Powerful pastor. Pastor is like this. He fell the test last night. The sure snake was there. But I passed the test last night, by the way. <laughs> we got a powerful prayer last night here. And then uh, at home. Do you understand? The government has went ahead to see that you are a driver, you have a wife or husband and children, and you need to come home safely. So they put all the safety for you to return back safely. God put all the safety in the Bible and in the church, in worship, so that you can return back to your wife, to your husband, to your children, to your son. And the snake has not returned you. Amen. Amen. Because he loves you and me. We've got beautiful warning signs. Let's follow. Let's do it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But the wisdom today is the snakes are around us. They are shrewd. They know the scriptures. They know the promises. They know when he, you were called, what you were called for, what you were told to do, what kind of stuff you were to do. Yes? And, and then he will put another snakes also to, to Facebook, YouTube, to this and to that. And, and uh, now I'm sure this brother is loud. I am loud. My wife is not loud. Okay? I'm saying, uh, calling you not loud, right? Are you loud? In what way? Like when you pray or speak. But some of us are quiet, right? Yes. 
Antani is louder than anybody over here. Yeah. Uh, Sam is quieter. Sam is absolutely down. But when he gets upset, then <laughs> damn, yes, then gone. Fire. Yes, and gone. Fire. Fire comes out from every grill. You know, everything grills. You know, he's upset and angry. But let's say we both are praying. Yeah? And I'm praying with my voice the way that God has made me. She prays the way God has made her and her voice. And she's casting out demons and I'm casting out demons. And we're doing according to this. You know some of the YouTube snakes, they say, Loud, you cannot pray loud. Don't pray loud and don't do this and don't do that. <laughs> the Caribbean and some of the African countries. They were born. God has gifted yes. them. Amen. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. It's a, it's a beautiful gift that they have. And Jesus didn't have the mic. I also don't need mic when I do evangelism because God has gifted me as an evangelist to yes. preach loudly. Amen. But snakes are there to discourage you. Snakes yes. are there yes. to tell you yes. this and that. And even snakes are there to use scriptures to take you out of the church. Yes. And say, snakes, you know, say, oh, women cannot preach. So I'm leaving the church. Bye bye. Ta da. Shrewd snakes everywhere. Everything. You lay hand. Don't lay hand because Jesus don't, didn't lay hand. YouTube. Another snake pops up. Another somebody pops up and said, Don't lay hand. Because Jesus didn't do it. What did Jesus say? Lay your yes. hand. Am I right? Yes. Lay your hand. Yes. And, 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 and so you see these snakes every side. All that I want to encourage you, and I have learned this in the ministry, all these snakes that pops up, just praise God and just thank God and be bold and do what God has called you. And don't stop. Amen. Keep fighting and keep winning your spiritual test. Praise the Lord. Long way to go. We have to win the world. We have got a lot of soul to be touched and a lot of uh, demonic and evil to, you know, in people to be set free, cast out, raise the dead. We are praying that this year we will see more people raised from the dead. Amen. I'm waiting to go to India to pray in one of the graves, which is which is a bit long time close. But I'm believing God for, for, for stuff. I'm believing God for cross all over Europe this year that we will finish every capital in Europe. Amen. And some may stop it. Some snake would come up legally and say, don't do this, don't do that. One snake, by the way, came last summer and said, we can't do evangelism over there. They sent a big legal letter to us and warning us that we would be fined for 20,000 pounds. The council. Snakes everywhere. But we continue. Amen. And we will continue to do our evangelism and everything. Snake would try in every way. Brothers and sisters, and my dear family. But let's pass the test. Amen. Amen. Our Amen. job is to pass the test. Amen. And the shrewd snake's job is to come up and quote scriptures, give us weird ideas and different things, and stop in any and every other way. But our job, our responsibility is that I won't touch, I won't eat, Amen. I won't pluck. Amen. Amen. And as I do for myself, I won't let that happen for my wife and for my children, or for my church member or anybody, or even for others outside. So then I will pray. I will intercede for drug addicts and prostitutes or any criminals or crime or any other stuff. Amen. Amen. Through that intercession, you can pass the test and get somebody out who has plucked and touched this fruit. It's God said, don't touch it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray now. And I'm going to ask the worship team to come back.